Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Pichu, and welcome to OFF. I'm actually not very sure what this game is, but my friends have said it was good, so I'm gonna play it. If this text is hard to read, please exit the game and install the font files in the game's folder. Caution, it is possible that certain scenes in this game are shocking to an unwarned public. Or maybe not. The musical pieces and sound effects of Off created by Elias Conrad I'm sorry if I get your names wrong. Conrad Coldwood are an important part of the game. It would be a shame to play without them. Unproductive fun time. Wait, I have to turn this down a bit. Enter your name. Your name is Pichu, correct? I am my girl. Alright. Welcome, Pichu. You have been assigned to, to a being called a beating. A being called the batter. The batter has an important mission. Be sure that it's accomplished. We will let you out in zone zero. Good luck. For more information, find the one called the judge. To move my body, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. To interact with the environment, use the space bar or the enter key. Wow! Zone zero. Zittle, 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 zittle. Settle. There cannot be any other living beings in zone zero. So I must assume that you are only a mere figment of my imagination. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the judge, and I am aching to know your name, dear Illusory Interlocutor. Interlocutor? I am the batter. I have been assigned to a sacred mission. It's a pleasure, however. It is a pleasure, however. It is not the puppet I was addressing, but the puppeteer controlling it. What is your name, dear puppeteer? Her name is Pichu. She can't talk to us. However, she can hear and see everything. Even though you two are but an inexistent appar apparition of my eyes, let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear Pichu. I believe we're in need of your services. Many people are in need of my services, you know. Everybody loves cats. We rub ourselves against our, le against our legs and purr in the most insistent manner. They adore that. <laughs> I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see. But what sort of service could I offer an ectoplasmic entity? I have a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. There is no objective more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide through this area. If it is of any help to you, thanks. Weird cat. Chest! Stuff! A lucky ticket has been found. What's in here? Okay. Allow me to confess that I find you quite tangible for it. A phantasmagorial being. Might you in fact be a creature of flesh and blood? I think so, yes. So I have been mistaken from the beginning. You did not even interrupt me when I... In my, you did not even interrupt me in my deluded phantasms. This is relatively bizarre, I must say. For you are the first living being I was given a chance to encounter in this loop. I had in fact included that Zone Zero 
was an empty land. Obviously, I was misled. However, that existence there exists other zones, and in those territories, the risk of hostile in individuals attacking you in the most violent manner is quite high. Your sacred mission would likely lead you to these lands. You would like me to teach you the, the art of violent confrontation? Combat tutorial? Heck yeah! Let's fight. This here is the battle screen. As you can observe, you will find yourself at the right hand side of the screen. However, your opponent, however, in this case, yours truly, will be located on the left, the correct place for a single combat. At the beginning of combat, you will be confronted with a choice. You have to decide whether to attack, auto, or flee. Attack naturally permits you to engage the fight in a classical fashion. If auto is your decision, then the computer will make the strategic choice in your place, making you simply the spectator. I'm sorry if I sound really French. It's just, this is the voice I imagined that this cat would have. Finally, flee, as its name indicates, is the option of a coward. <laughs> of the coward. I dehort this alternative. But now it is time for the offense. Choose attack, select the batter, then choose attack. A new to off. Select the batter, then choose attack a new to off me with your bat. Do not utilize the auto function. The computer will not hold back, and I would take this risk of dying, taking my secrets with me to the grave. Excellent, dear support, sportive companion. You must consider the fact that the batters and the enemy's levels determine the impact of your assault. It is possible that you or your adversaries could avoid the barrage of attacks that you will throw at each other with slyness. On occasion, your cast iron will get to a critical hit, which will cause teeth in a, which will cause teeth to fly in heaps. But let's move on. If you are not willing to, if you are not willing to, you may have noticed that when you chose attack for the first time, after you selected the batter, a new window opened itself at the lower hand, right hand side of the screen. There you have choice. You have the choice between four options: attack leads to a soul strike against the likewise soul adversary. Competence permits you to use one of your special skills. Objects will grant you to access the items that you are currently carrying. Finally, you have, yet again, the opportunity to flee. But remember, solely the batter is responsible for, the, for that option in his personal menu. How about trying to utilize an object? Take this luck ticket and use it on the batter's person with gratitude. A luck ticket has been found. Impeccable. Your mastery of battle borders on brilliancy, my dear. But there is one thing we have not yet addressed. I am, of course, talking about confidences. There are generally... They are generally in layman's terms, special moves that can trigger surprising effects. They may induce a resurgence of health points, or may be in and of themselves powerful attacks. Nevertheless, know this. Any use of competence leads to a consumption of competence points, CP. So I ask you, so I ask that you use these skills sparingly. Once your CP are completely consumed, it will be impossible to carry out heavy assaults. And if you happen to cross swords with a tougher opponent before being able to get some more CP, victory will be uncertain. But try it right away. Choose competence and try using the white angle, which will allow you to analyze your enemy. Okay. 
Okay. The Judge, an odd appearing cryptic cat. Health points 300, CP 30, no weakness and no resistance. <laughs> you know, you now know not only about me, but also about the art of combat. About the wide angle, know that its analysis will always be based on the start of the battle. Thus, it may accidentally analyze adversaries you have already knocked out for a long time. The confrontation ends theoretically when the health points of your team or all of your opponents fall to zero. Take good care of your health if you want a successful career in purification. From now on, you will be ready to crush your all imperial obstacles that get in your luminous mission's way. Well, supposing your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniably, undeniable cap capability of dealing with back blows to an innocent cat. Be it as it may, your training has not reached its end yet. Let me ask you to follow me. You still want me as your guide. You went too fast! Darn it. Oops. Ah yes. To pass through here, you will need to use your cerebral organ, you know? You know, the one bathing flabbily in your tired cranium. I believe those floating blocks correspond to the symbols that you can see on the wall in some way or another. Okay. One, two, three, four. Got it. Click. 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 How dare you leave me? Oh, this. Oh. One, two, six. Eight, two, three. One. Two, three, four, five, six, eight. The heck? Eight, two, three. Yes. <laughs> Finally, after all that exertion, the eagerly awaited recompense makes its entrance to the scene. It just wanted cat food. Are you serious? Crunch nom nom crunch. Silver flesh. Okay then. I'm guessing this is important now. Alright, so I think this is important. Hmm. This is four four eight two eight seven C. Four four five six seven eight two. H I missed it. Ah, uh, I heard it's six, not seven. Four, four, eight, two, eight, seven, C. Ha! <laughs> yes. I did it. Here is an accessory that is going to be especially helpful on your purification quest, dear enlightened student and supportive, supportive friend. It is a cube hovering in midair, as you have likely noticed. Nevertheless, you will be able to differentiate it from similar ones. 
by the contrast of bad taste, it imposes on your view of its clashing color, the defying any sense of the course of plastic arts. However, do not judge it too. Do not judge it too quickly. Because despite its criticizable appearance, this red cube is a is of undeniable use. Aside from rendering you the entirety of your health and competence points, it is capable of saving your progress. SAVE POINTS! And sending you to the nothingness. This nothingness is a loo of transition outside of space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. I now invite you to try it out. In order to discover locations more populous than this deserted land, open your wings, my dear companion, and hurry away towards the following zones without hesitation. Your only enemy is the fear that will grab you. Okay, do not worry. I too, shall, I too travel a lot to the different zones of the world. We will only meet one another eventually, without a doubt. Ah, by the way, by the by, take this. This object of a curious name will be the key that permits you to enter Zone One. If I clarify that you can at any time consult your inventory and characteristics by pressing the escape key, the Leo card has been found. All right. Health points, competence points, completely restored. Save game. Go ahead, I'm letting you try and use a floating cube right behind you. I just did. The save point. Alright, that's the end of this episode. And what do you think of off? I've heard good things about it from my friends, so that's really why I'm playing it. I like interesting games, and this one is definitely interesting. <laughs> well, anyway, like and favorite if you enjoyed, and subscribe to Pokemon Today. And I will see you guys next time, so bye!